Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the tips and how to get the best start in Fallout 76. As I've uh, been playing the beta on PS4, and since it, my game reinstalled now to PS uh, to my PC, I've decided to record this on my PC on 60 frames per second on ultra quality. So hope you enjoy this. It's the first time I'm looking at this game 60 FPS, and it's so beautiful. Uh, here I'm just showing you what perk I picked, it's perception as well, the VATS increase. So yes, that's what I picked and what I prefer for the melee character. As you saw there, I interacted to the robot which started the quest for me. And you'll make your way down to these steps. And to these steps you'll see a note and a machete, it's going to be your first starting weapon. After that you go back up the steps and the robot and go to the right hand side of the vault which I'm going to show you on the map in a moment. Uh, it's just... Pretty much down here, so you just want to kill all these robots, obviously. It's a two hit with a machete, so it's nice and easy. On these robots, they drop scrap metal, as well as uh, flyers, I believe. Don't pick up the flyers, they're useless, they're uh, just propaganda. You don't need them, they don't do anything for you. So pick up all the scrap you find. Uh, the tip here is pick up anything in the open world first. Around here, there isn't anything in the open world, such as a desk fan on like a car. If there's a death man on the car, pick that up first, since there's only one in the world you're in. One existing, so only you can pick it up, no one else. This one else pick it up, you can't pick it up. Uh, for example, in these ammo crates, it's only it's only to me, it's randomised to me. But for someone else, if I pick it up, there's going to be something else in there for them, randomised to them due to their perks, as well what look they got. So after you follow everything I just did, uh, all the crates I did, and everything, you'll make yourself, make your way up here even, and kill these robots again. Uh, pretty easy to do this, it's just how you get your first start of weapons nice and quickly, as you see. Uh, again, check everywhere for loot, you never know if someone dropped anything, it's always worth checking. So you make your way up these stairs, on the left here you'll see a person, uh, a ghoul I think, from looking at it, with a pipe pistol. This is the p first pipe pistol you'll find. Now you want to head south to Vault 76. This is where you find a shack. And in this shack is, well for me, it was a legendary creature. That's what I'm calling him basically. Uh, it was a tick I believe. And they're worth checking out these places just for pe uh, these type of creatures because they drop, as you see, treasure maps, which are useful. And in addition, just random crap, really, <laughs> which you, which is again very useful, like Radex, which you saw, and ammo and weapons. But that isn't the best one I find find in this gameplay. Trust me on that one. So here, you want to loot everything and take it to this workbench, and make sure you scrap everything you find. If you scrap everything it will more or less reduce your carrying weight. After you've done all that, go to Gilmore Lumber Mill, which I just saw pop up on my screen, which is again south of where we've just been. It's the factory looking logo on your map, on your uh, little bar at the bottom even. Uh, yes, make sure you loot everything well. Again, that's a Tinker Bench, which lets you craft ammo, uh, which is really, really good addition. Again, go south. I think this is a farmer logo. Yeah, farmer logo on your little thing at the bottom. And you'll find this scorch fested place. Again, I found a legendary scorch, and you won't believe what we find on him. This is a main reason why you want to go to these places. Because they have a chance of dropping these people, such as having four hunting rifles and I think five, yeah, five piece of, pieces of leather armor, which is just nuts, honestly. That's why I highly recommend following my step by step tutorial type of thing here. And just Honestly, just follow it. You'll get the best things you can in this game. So after you looted well there, you want to make yourself uh, get yourself to overseer camp and loot well. To get everything from the chest, best you can go, best you can do. And I want to discuss here whilst we're looking at me grabbing stuff about stashes, the stash box, box, the blue box you see right there on the screen. Also the camp. If you store items in there, it's only accessible to you. Now you can only put up to 400 weight of items in there. So, if you have lots of junk on you, which you don't want to carry about, just chuck it in the item box, which you can craft with your camp anywhere you want. 
uh, with a small cost of caps, of course. So it's really worth having. That's what you can store transferring to your camp, which is this, just a quicker way to do it. So yeah, highly recommend using those. And right now I'm just using, uh, doing, not using, doing the miscellaneous items, making the weapons and armor. Uh, make sure you kill all the ragstags and well, all the deer basically as well. Or the cows you see, Brahman. So you get the leather from them. Best advice I can give you there. So as you see on the screen here, I'm just picking my perk, as you do. I pick Scrounger because it has a good rate of ammo, giving you ammo from chests, which is very useful in this game since there's a lack of ammo, or you have to use a lot more ammo if you're playing solo. So you make your way to this gym type place, which is, you see the symbol on the screen, it's shaped like a bungalow. Kill all the possums, all the rad roaches, uh, rad roaches as well, more rats you see here. So you make your way into this little tunnel place, and you find a little gym here, and in this place, which isn't in my game are weights and they have lots of lead and I recommend picking those up and dismantling them for the lead. Uh, as I said earlier it's only one item in that game so there was weights there before but someone was there before me and they already picked up the weights so I couldn't pick them up so that's why I say pick up things on the open world first. And here you see government A drops which you'll find randomly across the map I found some there, luckily. found three in a row, which is nuts. But yeah, you'll find them, you see a quest on your game, basically. But pretty much that's all there is to it for a best start of Fallout 76. It's quite easy, and I couldn't be asked to make a 30 minute video and waste your time, to be honest. Because I thought this is enough detailed, uh, detailed enough for you. So yes, I hope you enjoyed it, and very, very much hope this helps you. Sorry about my voice, I have got a big major cold right now and it hurts talking so I might stop it here just so you can, guys can just get to it so hope you enjoyed and hope I see you in the next video of Fallout 76 and hopefully I'm well enough to do it thank you and goodbye